Good morning, everybody. Hi. We are assembling a squatty potty, <laughs> as one does. That's what people do here. We're getting ready for uh, for birth here and for after birth, and uh, this is going to be, I think, something that comes in handy. Look, it's fancy bamboo. Some assembly required. <laughs> So your feet go up there and it puts you in a squat position when you're going number two and uh which aligns things in a way that's uh conducive to said number two gabe has been an advocate of this for years i am skeptical yeah i used to have one i got one in like 2012 or 2013 and uh i used it for years and then i moved into a very small place where there was no room for such a thing yeah this one is much more streamlined. The other one was ugly, so this is better. Yeah. I know, this is very exciting. I don't understand how this works. I thought you have to actually do something, but it seems like you just sit here and then you put your feet on the stool thing. Yeah, that's right. That's, so all, that's all I have to do. The point is to get your knees above your pelvis. Oh, that's I didn't And so that. there's like a little, there's a muscle that kind of pinches off a part of your uh, large intestine. And that muscle relaxes in this position. Mm -hmm. So when you're not in this position, you've got something basically working against you when you're trying to poo. Mm -hmm. And this just frees that up entirely. We're learning this all together. Guys, you and me. Well, you're... Not Gabe, but we are learning this <laughs> together. Because I was like, what is the point of this? But here we go. Mm -hmm. We have one now. We're supposed to have one, I guess. You'll notice a difference. All right. It will be, uh, yeah, better. Current mood. I just wanted to put a bow on her, but she wasn't letting me. Really? <laughs> That's so weird. Look how pretty she looks. A little Christmas cat. <laughs> yeah, funny an animal doesn't want an ever tightening piece of material around their neck. <laughs> upstairs finally showing you the lamps had to clean up a little bit but here they are Ooh, and we put them on remotes ah. <laughs> this is because I continuously fall asleep with the lamp on and so Gabe can turn it off on my side without having to get up Yay. And yeah, we can have the lamps more in the center of the table. So what do you think is nicer? Huge, huge thank you goes out to my aunt. Thank you, Aunt Peggy. She can find anything, anything home related on the internet. It's amazing. You just like tell her kind of like what you're looking for and the price range and she will find it like that. And I mean, seriously, she will text you back in 10 minutes and be like, what about these 12 choices that you've never <laughs> found yourself on the internet after hours of looking? It's... It's crazy. It's a wonderful gift. Um, so she really helped us out. So we'll link these down below. They're from Overstock. Um, they weren't very expensive, like the other ones that I was showing on Instagram, which were like, why are lamps like $300 now? I don't really get it. But we just really needed something for extra light up here. We just, we're on a timetable. We just gotta, just gotta move it along. Uh, but we have now finished making these bar reclaimed barn wood tables that they sit on, which we have a video for that, which we'll have after the new year. But we'll show you guys up close what they look like, and then we'll show you the lamps up close. But we'll link the lamps down below. I can link this clicker thing down below if you want to. So you, you can also be cool and click on and off your lamps. And yeah, it's amazing. So one more thing checked out the list. <laughs> Getting 
back around to the drywall here. Uh, I'm gonna sand that and just see what we're looking at there. And uh, here's what's left of the barnwood wall that I put up. And uh, that's what I need to take down today too. And I'll see if I can get the rest of the spackling done for this entire side here. That's the goal. That definitely required two hands, so this is what I'm left with. I'm gonna wipe it down and start getting it prepped for some spackle. Mango just ends up sleeping on everything that we give her. Tiny little shirt, ribbon, sleeps on. Sleep again. Obviously working with drywall does not make for a scintillating video. Uh, so I'm just gonna give you just a real quick view of just how I'm fixing this. So I've got a million of these little holes, right? All over the place. I've got uneven squares of drywall and roughed up surface and all sorts of stuff. So I gotta fix all that. But um, let me tell you, I, I'm never gonna work with drywall again. <laughs> it is, it, I know everybody does and I think everybody complains about it, but um, I'd way rather work with plaster. I mean, I, I suggested, why don't we just cover this wall with diamond laugh and just plaster it? Um, it's boring. You're trying to make everything look as flat and as uniform as possible. It's just boring to me. Uh, so. Not doing this again. Uh, but uh, here's what we're doing. Okay, so a screw was removed from this hole right here and it's raised around the edges here and it's just got paper sticking out because I had to remove the screw, right? So what I'm gonna do here is just shave off all the excess material right here. And then you can use anything like the back of the screwdriver Anything hard and metal or plastic will do, but I'm just gonna push everything in. Just make this an indentation in the wall with just nothing but flat around it. So I gotta push a lot of this stuff in. Just make that flat. And then I'm going to take my little putty knife with my spackle and I'm going to come down. Across and leave as little up there as I can. Uh, and then I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna sand it and I may have a little dimple left over and then I'll do it again and then sand it. And then if I need to do it a third time, I'll do it a third time. And then you get the idea. And you get the idea times like a couple hundred holes. So that's what I'm up to. <laughs> I'm gonna teach a course in creative spackling. Nobody should ever do what I do for drywall, but uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll see how it comes out. Uh, some of the holes are are your typical, you know, they're 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 this drywall with a screw hole in it, and that's that's fine, that's easy. And uh, some of them are just like whoever put this drywall and just mangled it. It's all twisted up, and I'm trying to establish like a new baseline of of what flat is, and it's just it's just a mess. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll let it dry, and we'll see what happens. Hello. Hello. Are you trying to shame me? What, for working at five o'clock on a Friday night? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm almost done. I just stopped doing something else and said I was going to do it on Monday, so okay. I'm getting there. Is it because of these new lamps that are, <laughs> that are so nice up here that uh, you just can't come downstairs? Tear myself away? Yes, it's because of the new lamps. Okay. I thought so. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to build a fire, I'm going to make dinner, and we're going to chill out for a little bit once, uh, once she's uh, done with work. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. Hey, uh, you, I'll bring this up at the beginning of another video. Um, but uh, if you have any questions about anything, you want us to talk about anything, any of our experiences, any of the projects that we've done, um, anything at all, just, uh, just let us know in the comments, and we'll be happy to address them in a video.
Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.